thought I'd show this to you. I was getting ready to do a video and I uh, had to change my mind what I was going to do. But what I've got here, I really like these SA Fire Steels. I own two of them. And then I have another one. I don't even honestly remember where this was. This is made to be like worn like a necklace fire steel. But I really like this fire steel. I like it. It, it does great compared to... I've got some other ones upstairs that are like also high carbon steel. But they just don't throw sparks as well as this design does. They will throw sparks, just not as well. And I'm getting ready to show you something. So, anyways, I was going to pick up another one of these because I've basically got three kits that I keep, one in each vehicle. And just, you know, I really like flint and steel fires. Um, probably better than anything, if you want to know the truth. They're actually relatively easy. Way better and easier than like a bow drill. Way easier sometimes than, you know, other methods of getting a fire anyways when i went to go buy one of these these got up to like 30 dollars now for one and i like them but i don't like them 30 dollars worth they used to be way cheaper before this great economy anyways there's a chinese knockoff now <laughs> there's several of them actually they all have different names they all look the same i bet they're probably all made by the same company and just sold under different brands but it has kind of the same shape. Kind of see it there. Has the same shape. Even has the bow and drill dimple for the spindle. So you could use it as a handhold for a uh, bow and drill fire, fire bow fire. And about the same size, which means it fits in an Altoids tan can pretty pretty well. Anyway, so the other thing I wanted to show you is I have a piece of flint. I also have a piece of chert rock. And I'm going to try to do this where you can see it. But you can take like the essays. They do really well. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. They do really well. They throw sparks really well on the black flint. On the chert rock, they do okay. Not necessarily always as good. And the Chinese one, I really wasn't expecting it to do so well, but it does good also on both the black flint and the chert rock. But this smaller one, even though it's 1095 steel, because of the way you have to hold it, you don't get as much force against it. It'll still throw sparks, but you can see it's not near as much. And if the black flint's easier than the chert rock, you can about imagine what it's going to be like here. I mean, again, it will throw sparks. It's just not as much because you can't get as much grip on it. You can't get as much force against it or something. I don't really know. So that's actually why I prefer these because... You can get a really solid grip on them. You got enough to purchase against when you're purchased against it. You got plenty left over. And you can get a really good sparks with these. So, anyways, <laughs> that kind of wraps it up. I basically keep these in an Altoids tin with some char cloth. I usually keep some uh, jute twine and some other things. And uh, that's basically how I do my flint and steel fire kits. So, uh, what I originally intended to do, I really thought this Chinese one wasn't going to compare at all to the essays. And I was going to justify it that, okay, it's worth spending the extra money to get the essays. You know, they, but it didn't turn out that way. So I had to change the video. The Chinese one, which was $10 versus the essay, which is $30. Yeah. I, I, I can't, you know, if I ever need to buy another one, I'm probably going to buy the Chinese one because, you know, I bought one to see if it worked. It works great. I won't pay $30 for another one. <laughs> Essay, I hope you're listening. 
It's not new technology anymore. It's not the new cool thing. People come out to compete against you. I mean, in a way, I hate that when Chinese companies go and rip off other companies and then they underprice it. I get that. I, I hate it. But how much time and effort does it probably take to stamp these out? And what's it cost for the, a piece of steel? You know, $30 seems a little much, I say. $10, competitive pricing. Hopefully, the Chinese are going to make you lower your prices, but I don't know. I really don't know. I would keep on buying essays if they were more competitive. If they were $15, I'd probably still buy them, but not at $30. So that's really what I wanted to bring up. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.